Welcome back to Low Carbon Lifestyle. I've been using a thermal imaging camera for some work projects. And because I'm a little bit cheeky, today I'm gonna to look at our house to see if there are any obvious issues with our insulation around the house that we could deal with by maybe installing more insulation. This episode is all about insulation and whether a FLIR thermal image camera can help us understand how to make our home more efficient. My name is Tom and this is a little series about a low carbon lifestyle. My last few videos have been all about heat pumps. They're great. They've been about how ours is performing, how they work and how we had ours installed. And we're now living in a nice and warm and happy Victorian terrace heated by a heat pump. Most of the time when you see articles about heat pumps or news stories about heat pumps, there'll be some opinion somewhere in that article that suggests your house needs to be super well insulated to make them work. Well, how well insulated is our house? Well, we could make some assumptions. We think it was built in the 1890s. So we suspect the front of the house is solid brick. It's got some kind of render on the front as well, like a pebble dash, but it's not very well insulated. We do have a roof full of loft insulation at a depth of about 300 millimeters. We have double glazing, and we have an extension on the back that was built to modern builder regulations in 2017, 2018. I imagine that the heat loss from our house is fairly average for a three bedroom house. A heat pump works here, but is there anything we can do to help it work better. You see, the lower the heat loss in a house, the lower the temperature of water running through the radiators needs, radiators needs to be, and therefore the higher the efficiency of the heat pump. So even though our heat pump is performing really well, and we're really happy with it, we're really happy with the efficiency, which is just under 300% over the winter months, if we were able to improve the insulation at all, we might be able to give a little bit of improvement on the efficiency of the heat pump and reduce the amount of electrical power needed to keep warm, which is a bonus. So I've been using the thermal imaging camera for work and I thought I'd turn it on our own house to see if there are any glaring issues. It's 19 or 20 degrees inside the house and it's today it's about four degrees outside. So there will be some heat loss in the house. That's just how it works. So let's see if we can spot it. Let's start at the front of the house. There definitely looks like there are warm spots on these images. How about the back of the house? And what about the side of our house? The bit that's exposed to the wind, that's actually a hallway and landing. Looking at this, you can see straight away that most of the heat is lost through the windows. Double glazing tends to have a U value, and that's the number we use to show how well insulating it is. It's a bit like a TOG rating from sleeping bags or clothing. But double glazing has a U value of about 1.6 watts per meter squared per degree of temperature difference between the inside and the outside. So for every degree difference today, the difference is about 15 degrees each meter squared of window would lose 1.6 watts of heat. So the big bay windows that we have would be losing about 120 watts at the moment. Interesting. So if I was gonna improve that, I would need to look at maybe triple glazing, which could be quite expensive for the improvement we might get. Maybe we should have put triple glazing in when we refurbished the house four or five years ago. But fortunately, in terms of heat loss and probably privacy, our house isn't completely made of glass. It's also made up of walls, brick walls, and the front of our house pr probably isn't insulated much better than the windows. So a solid wall, as I said it would be, is, could, could be around one to 1.2 watts per meter squared per degree. And for us, because we have the front and the side wall completely uninsulated, this is where most of our heat loss will be. You can even see on the side wall or the back bedroom wall, the difference between the original wall and the newly built insulated wall. If you look closely, the walls between beneath the bay windows um, look like they're losing a similar amount of heat to the windows themselves. Ouch. 
That's probably because they're quite lightweight wooden structures that were added after the house was built. They might make big, bright windows, but they do really leak heat. So is there anything we could do to reduce heat loss from the walls? Well, yeah, we could. We could insulate either the external wall with, this, with external wall insulation, like in this photo of one of my work projects, or we could insulate internally. External wall insulation is like adding a jumper or a blanket to the outside of the house, wrapping it in insulation and, and render. It looks cool. It does a good job of reducing heat loss, but it could be pretty costly. I'd love to look into it one day for our house because I think it could really help. The back bedroom wall, the side wall and the front walls would all benefit from it. I wonder where you get a quote for that stuff. Inter internal wall insulation is a bit of a different story. It will usually mean losing some space on the inside of a room and it would definitely mean redecorating. It's, it's a bit of a faff when you've been living somewhere for a while and not planning on a big upheaval, but there may be opportunities that could help the process. Maybe you're hoping to get, I don't know, built-in wardrobes or planning on redecorating a space. If any of those plans were on an external wall, you could use it as an opportunity to insulate and insulate even partially on the inside. My wife Esther is keen on getting a window seat in our bedroom. I think it'd be great. And this would fill the bay window. It would give us much needed storage space. It would give us a nice place to sit and it would give me a chance to insulate the bottom part of the bay windows. Nice. It isn't going to transform the heat loss of that wall, but it will do a bit and it will block out a little bit more of the road noise in the front of the house. So can we spot anything else with a thermal imaging camera? I'm not too sure. I suspect there are some drafts around the windows and I suspect our floorboards lose a little bit of heat. But I'm not sure if there is much else that we could do. The Fluir camera has helped me see where we're losing heat. And if I'm honest, in hindsight, it was probably where we expected it. But it is useful to see what's happening at home. Is there anything that you could do at home that would help reduce heat loss? Whether you've got a heat pump or a gas boiler, maybe have a think about it. Thanks for watching. I hope that was interesting and helpful. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. Um, and if you want to know more about a heat pump or how to decarbonize your home, feel free to get in touch.